Hello everyone. Let's analyze uh, one of my favorite opening, the Dutch opening, the game I lost uh, last time. So d4, f5, c4, knight f6, knight c3. So e6, nothing special. And here, my opponent played f3. Yeah, that's a very, very sensible move. Try to stop, uh, stop ninety four. I mean, ninety four is a key move, which I said uh, in previous videos of Dutch opening. So F three. Just try to control E four square. That's very, very sensible. So. I play bishop b4 as usual. Try to try to take his knight, and he, he will get these double pawns. Yeah, but the problem is he played f3, so I have I haven't knight e4 anymore. But but let's see. So e3. So now I have to take. Otherwise, he will play knight g2 and play a3. So, yeah, I just took his knight. So, b takes. He's got these double pawns. Yeah, but f3 is a very good move. So I just castle bishop d3. Now I don't know what to do. Maybe just develop my bishop like b6, bishop b7. So that's exactly what I played in the game. So b6, uh, d6, or c5. Yeah, here Angie recommends c5. Or b6. Yeah, b6 is okay anyway. So every move is every move is playable. Okay, so just b6. b6. So 92. Very normal. And bishop b7. Bishop b7. He castle. So here. Because normally I would play knight e4. Try to attack knight e4, try to attack c3. But now, since he has played uh, f3, so it's very annoying. Very annoying. Or maybe he will play e4 in the future. So here I play knight c6. And this move is not, not ideal. Because I already engine. Gives almost plus uh, yeah plus one. So here I should play c5. Maybe c5 then knight c6. I think uh, I I think maybe the idea behind c5. So let's see. Maybe the idea behind c5 is. So first of all, he can't take because if he takes, he has triple pawns. Also, B takes. Okay, so he still got uh, he 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 still got this isolated double pawns. So that's a very bad structure. Maybe it's. Maybe knight c6, knight d, uh, e5, knight e5, or maybe queen e5, maybe. Yeah. So these pawns, these pawns are very weak. It's a long term weakness. Also, uh, these pawns are isolated. 
So, so first of all, take is not good because now I just yeah. so positionally see it's not a good structure. So if he doesn't take, he plays something like, for example, d5, d5, knight g3. Yeah, the second idea behind the d5, I think, just uh, just cuts the bishop. Maybe because in the game I play c. Knight c6, and suddenly he has got he's got bishop a3. That's a very annoying diagonal. I can play d6, but then knight f4, the e6 point is a little bit weak. Yeah. So in the game, I just play rook rook f7. So so I should I really. I should have really have played uh, c5 before knight c6. Now and just cut cut this diagonal. And also c5 try to put some pressure on center. Otherwise knight c6 maybe this pawn uh, uh, very weak, very passive. So c5 before knight c6. c5 then knight c6. Or maybe just, or maybe just d6 knight bd7. Because although he's these double pawns, I can't play knight e4. So I. I can't attack his weakness, so maybe just develop like d6, knight bd7, queen e7, the very normal development. Anyway, castle, knight c6, and then bishop a3, rook f7, so now e4. It's still not a problem. And then when your opponent play e4, of course, have to take, try to open, open f5. Of course, he will take with f pawn, counter attack. So here, I made a very bad, bad move. Yeah, knight g4 is a very bad move. Here I should, I should definitely play d6, stop e5. e5 is a very very huge threat here. Because e5, then knight g4, rook takes, king takes, and the bishop takes h7. So I saw this move, but I just didn't, didn't play d6. Yeah, here I really should play d6. The d6 stop e5. That's a huge threat. But I, but somehow I calculate knight g4, rook takes, king takes. So actually, actually he hasn't bishop takes d7, uh, h7. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, no, no. I mean, before, before e5. Okay, before e5. So here I play knight g5, uh, knight g4, rook takes, king takes, and he has to defend knight to e3 with this fork. So maybe he'll play queen e2. So he has no time to push e4, uh, e4, e5. Yeah, that's what I calculate. Knight g, knight g4, take, take, or maybe just queen f1 check, but I still king g8. So that's not a problem. 
and then if we play maybe e5 but I can still hold the position so but knight g4 actually is not a not good idea because look it takes f7 king takes f7 so already he has lots of tempo moves he can move his knight and my knight is king he can always check and all of my pieces are in the queen side so they are not uh, the king side is a little bit weak and uh, he has lots of pressure on on king side so it's very dangerous already its position is plus 2 so h3 okay so of course i can't play knight f6 knight f6 just e5 and if my I move my knight, bishop takes h7. So I have to play knight h6 as as Manchin recommends. And queen e2, I don't know this idea. Maybe queen f4 check, but I can just play king g8. Or maybe he wants to play rook f1. Yeah, rook f1. So now he's this threat. So I have to push. Now I have to push d6. And yeah, e5, good move. I can't take. Just rook f8. Rook bishop for a queen. Very dangerous. So I just play queen d7. Uh, oh, I just. Yeah, here I don't know why I play knight a5. Maybe try to open this diagonal. But that makes no sense. Or maybe just um, down time, just play play some moves, play some random moves, maybe. So here, queen e3. Okay, so queen e7. Try to try to trade his rook. So he took, took. Here, knight, knight f4. Yeah, lots of pressure. This is just a lot of pressure. And maybe queen a knight h5 is an idea. So rook e8 just defend. Now knight h5. Maybe he want to put some pressure on g7 pawn. Yeah yeah again just under time. Time pressure. Just try to but yeah, queen g3. Can just blunder, blunder everywhere. Yeah, and then just blunder mates. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very good game. I can learn lots of things through this game. Although I lost, I learned lots of things in this opening. So first of all, if you play against Dutch, so F3 is a very good idea. Just stop, try to stop Knight E4. Stop Knight E4 and uh, even have these double pawns. So no, it's no threat and then maybe somehow try to develop and then try to push e4 break his center and there are lots of and maybe bishop yeah, two bishop attack queen side uh, king side and knights here try to bring the king uh, Try to bring the queen to the king side, and his pieces are in the queen, always in the queen side. That's a very strong attack. But if you play play with black pieces, like me, 
Maybe take the castle and there. First of all, develop bishop. And before develop your knight, maybe first c5. So the first thing I learned through this game. First c5. He can take, take, take and uh, these pawns, these isolated we uh, double pawns are very weak. It's a long term weakness. So c5. And if he doesn't take, then maybe knight c6. And uh, he's no d5 because knight e5 is crushing. So first, uh, also c5 prevents, it just cuts the bishop on this diagonal, c5. Or maybe, or maybe just develop very, very normally, play d6, knight bd7, queen e7, rook e8, rook e8. It's also a development. But in this position, when, when he has double pawns, I always put knight on c6, try to play knight a5 or knight e5 in the future. So before knight c6, play c5. That's the first positional mistake. I play c6, knight c6 right away. So now just bishop a3, very annoying. Rook f7, and here should take, take. Then definitely should I should play d6 because e5 is a e5 is a huge threat. The second mistake d6 d6 also cuts the bishop and prevents e5. It's very very important. Knight g5 yeah knight g4 is already. The position is already not good. Take, take. Three, like this. And here is very hard, very, very hard to play. D6. Yeah. In this position, I mean, Andrew recommends d takes e5, but d takes e5, just look at it, take, take, take. Yeah, I mean, just, just losing. I mean, the best move is losing. Even the best choice is losing. So, the position is very, just hard. Take, rook check, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes, and then maybe, okay, let's take, okay, okay. take, bishop take, and then rook take, or queen c2, yeah, yeah, I mean the position is, Yeah, just losing. Uh, even the best choice is losing. Just because. Just because this move. Yeah, I should definitely play d6. Stop b5. Okay. Yeah. First idea c5 and then d6 shut down the bishop prevent e5. That's why I lost the game. Yeah. But it's always good to know. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next analysis game.